Hey guys, MC Craw here, and I am back. Yes, I am back. And, uh, last time you guys saw me, I made this little thing, and I dressed it up a little bit. Basically, I just threw a shit little wood. And it's obviously not finished. And, uh... I think this is kind of interesting. The only one that keeps, wor the only one that works, or the only one I've seen that actually produces a pumpkin, is this one right here. Every time I come back, it's just this one. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it next time. And here, oh, I've got one in there. Let's crush that sucker. There we go. Yeah, works like a charm. Just like I wanted it. So we. Alright, so that is up and running. Those work. Uh, now the question is what to do next. Uh, I know what I can't do. Um, I definitely cannot do the wheat farm, which is going to be over here. The wheat farm is actually going to take up this entire side. Yes, it's going to be very intricate. And the reason I can't is because this is all the gold I got left. <laughs> that is not enough gold. Nope. Uh, so... With that said, uh, I have to decide on mushrooms, which uh, I think mushrooms I'm going to do in the middle here, so I want to do that last. Uh, I have, uh, uh, what is that other one called? Um, cactus or uh, sugar cane. And uh, since I've already got my sugar cane here I'm thinking I'm just gonna do that just tear this wall out just put my uh, sugarcane thing well it's partly mine generic B pretty much perfected it and then I went through my own little spin on it but pretty much the same um, he did come out with a new one and that new one is compactor I don't even think that's a word it's more compact than original I'm trying to think he had it too wide on the uh, oh yeah 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 it is more compact now um, it was too wide on the center like this for the water flow so that the uh, the top pieces wouldn't get pushed off onto this section but he changed it around made it one and did this thing with uh, uh, glass panes putting them in the center here so I'm going to do a variation of that design right here. And then next to it is going to be my, uh, oh, God, you know, I just realized this is a lot of space here. Hmm. I think I need to go build one of these, see how wide it is, and see if I can't make two of them next to each other. Otherwise, I'll have to stack them. I don't have anything up there, do I? No, nothing yet. So, I have to stack... Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's the uh, exit right there. That's the, uh, the outside. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go do some testing. And I will be back. And then we'll start building this baby. Wow, that didn't take pretty much any time at all figuring that out. Um, okay, so I'm going to build it right here. I'm going to dig all this crap out. And I'm going to make it too high. Uh, not too high, like... Uh, two, I'm going to make it two stories, so it'll be this, it'll be one section here, and then it'll have a whole nother plant section there. Um, and I just figured out how to do it, I just mocked it up really quick. Um, the wiring is pretty much the only thing I really hadn't done too much of. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to tear all this out, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, and uh, as you guys can see, I kind of started already and that wasn't my fault fraps was being a big pain in the butt and decided to uh be stupid because that that that's what fraps does um but as you guys can see i'm pretty much just failing at this design i'm just adding a little bit of a design in here and just finishing this up that's pretty much it I had talked about some other crap, uh, you know, my sex life and all that stuff, but, you know, that's unimportant, so I'll just not repeat all of that. Um, what do we got? 
Okay, so here, this is my, I only need one wide channel now because I'm going to have glass panes going down the center. Uh, and then I actually realized that that, just now I just realized that that's not going to work. No, no, that could still work. I just have to put panels all the way up. Okay, no, 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 we're good. We're, it's still going to work. No, ah, no, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Should I test it? Alright guys, I'm going to run with it this way, and then if I don't get it to work, then we'll just call this a fail, and then next episode I will have the fixed version. So let's see if, let's see if we can get to work. Uh, so this is my second row, so th these grow one, two, three, and I have another set up there. So I have to create a water channel up here so that these can grow. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. And then, I don't know, I'll put that there, I guess. I believe if I just do this, I don't even have to worry about the water falling. That's eight blocks. So no issue there. Oh, sounds like I broke my leg. Okay. I don't know why I jumped down. Why did I jump down? I gotta get back up here anyways. Um, screw it, let's just plant it. And I need at least three here as well. So I have one, two, and three. Uh, the ceiling, I don't know if I want to dress it up yet or not. I'll just leave it like it is. And here, behind, behind those, I think I'll put some wood. Let's see, on that one I had a little design and I really don't care what this top one looks like. I don't even think I'll be able to see it. I can barely see the other one. And I should probably not do this yet. Still got to put on all those pistons. Ah, oh, I got to do it on the bottom too. Ah, crap hola. So, and I don't have any on me. Yay. All right. Pistons, pistons, nine! <gasps> but as you guys can see, I got a bunch going here. Alright, I'm going to make some more sticky pistons, and I'll be back. Alright, guys, I'm back and accidentally hit F3, because F4 is my record button. Um, okay, so all the pistons are in and in place. Uh, the top section, I just left the solid wood. Bottom section, I, I put the design back that I had originally. And this crap in the back is going to be different, naturally. Actually, I could probably make this somewhat... Ugh, God, stupid mouse. It's not the game, guys. It's actually my mouse. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so maybe I can... I could do this. One, two, three. Like this, and... that that eh, kind of looks like it goes with it because you know it's like the doo -doo 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 -doo. works for me and then I'll just do wood all the way up but anyways uh, now I'm working on water um, technically uh, I am working on this uh, section right here now there's a big problem with powering this section I could do it if I had more space pretty easily but I don't have the space so it's not going to be easy in order to power the what, second time because of that stupid thing uh, well I think the way I'm gonna have to power it here is why do I never have the material I need on me why why oh my god and of course I don't have that 
get my torches. Some more redstone. Hell, if I need repeaters, I got them. All right. Let's put all this where I need it. And there we go. Okay, so this side's not my issue. It's mainly this side. And I'm going to have to base both. I'm going to do both sides the same. So, if you guys... Come on, mouse, come back down. There we go. Uh, if you guys see there, it pushed out both of those. So, I'm going to turn down the volume even more so it doesn't annoy me. Um, that right there will power both of them. And uh, one thing I know probably doesn't work unless they change. Unless they've changed it, this line should not power the top two pistons. Yeah. Okay. A uh, little bit of a lag spike there. Not sure what that was. But anyways. Um, and I am correct. That will not power those two. Now there is a boog... As you see right there. Oh, no. Yeah, see right there. Power staying on until I update it on the piston. Right there. See? Uh, but this shouldn't work either. It should only power the top two. I'm just doing this because sometimes you run into little bugs that will help you out here and there. Alright, so that won't work either. So that doesn't work. Shoot. And that one's stuck open again. Ah, just there we go. Um let's see. I think that's gonna be the only way to do it. I didn't want to have to deal with a bunch of repeaters. But I just might have to. If I do that, that powers that one. That powers that one. Um, it won't work this way. No, it will work this way. No, it'll only work if it's a single, not a double. Okay. I'm just trying to fight, figure out a way to get it up there that one make it easier the top ones really aren't my issue uh, it's mostly these bottom ones and it's mainly this one because I made it too damn close to this so I just gotta get this powered hey guys I am back and I moved it ah why do I keep falling in that thing I moved it over it was driving me insane it wasn't gonna work I had issues with it being too close to the wall. That's fine, because the only thing I have on this side is my cactus farm. So, it's probably better to split it out a little bit. Anyways, so, it is all good. What? Am I on this? Which level am I on? Okay, cool. That one. Um. Ah, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so here I am. Shoot, did I get all the pistons right? Pistons there, pistons there, pistons there. Okay, all right, cool. And I kind of inverted the designs a little bit. So now that the, you can actually see them, and I'm falling in this. There. I am less likely to fall into that now. All right. <laughs> it's going to happen, though. And... All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My son's playing doctor, and he needed a test subject. And my frame rate's crap. There we go. All right. Um, I have no idea what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, the design. Eh, the design's useless. Um, so, at this point, I am just getting the wiring in here. And then that is pretty much it. Uh, the wiring is going to be like this. Yeah. Still, still works like this, I'm sure. 
Okay, yeah. So, like that, and these are gone. I have no need for those. And my mouse is going out, which sucks. And, uh, let's see. Put some stuff here. And that should work. And here's another thing to show you guys uh, about the release. Uh, before, the redstone would turn into this uh, torch. Now, if the power source is above or below the block, it will not register it. Only if it is adjacent, like right there. So, that's something interesting to know. So now, if we wanted, we could technically turn off torches this close together, like this. Normally it would turn into that, and we would have problems. But if I do this, the... Wait a minute. That should not... There we go. It just didn't update properly. <laughs> so... Yeah, for some reason it's not updating. That's unfortunate. I thought they fixed that crap in 1.0. Hmm. Oh well. But anyways, that's how I'm going to power the side. So I'm going to do that with all the sets. And then... Then I'll work up uh, a button system and I'll be back. Alright, so I got most of the wiring done as far as uh, each level. Uh, and then th I just have like a little torch here to activate it all. So they're closed at the moment, which is good. And then uh, I got some water channels. Now, the reason I have these water channels that I'm going to put up here is because if these pistons uh, push out and then drop those items, I want them to fall, just like on here, uh, on the edge. If they fall on close to the edge, the water will push them out. So that's the whole purpose of this water level up here. I probably didn't need to put two, but whatever. And Don't worry. Right there, I'm actually going to replace those blocks with uh, glowstone as soon as I get some. I don't have any at the moment. Just light that up a bit. Uh, I do believe mobs can spawn on these, or in them, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, let's see, so there's that, oh no, I forgot to put, shoot, I forgot to put the, uh, what do they call it, sugar cane up there. By the way, these are, uh, these have water behind these blocks right back there. So that's what's making these grow. Uh, before, you can get away with this water right here. But now, uh, since the 1.0 patch, I have, it, it, they break. So it has been working for me. There we go. it there. Do, 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 do. I've been listening to some music lately. Really annoying music. Alright. And I think that's it. I think it, all that's next is the wiring. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Probably should have set this back by one more, but uh, I'm going to have this as my collection. So I just stand right here. Yeah. And that's... But I need a button of some sort, obviously. Pressure plates. That's what I'll do. 
All right, I'm going to put some pressure plates here and then hook up the wiring. Uh, and then I will be done. Um, the wiring, the way it's going to work is it's going to be a mono... It's kind of like a monostable circuit where um, the... Even no matter how long I press on this, the these will only come out for a limited amount of time. Uh, so these will get pushed out, hold for, I don't know, maybe two, three seconds, and then retract so that the uh, so there's a lesser chance of the pieces that are getting broken off to fall in this channel right here it's especially important up there and then that is it I would no you will not grow okay that is it I'll be back all right guys uh, I wanted to do this so that you guys can kind of get a, a gist of the wiring of what I'm going to have down there. This is this is a monostable circuit, but with a very long delay on it. Um, so what's happening is uh, when I go and step on the pressure plate, uh, let's assume this switch is a pressure plate. When I turn it on, on will be up. Then um, this uh, this piston will activate for a limited amount of time. Then it'll shut back off. And then no matter how long the power is up, uh, quote unquote on. Uh, or, you know, like I'm stepping on the pressure plate, uh, that will be, uh, that won't really matter. So, if you guys see here. Oh, it's the other way around. My bad. When it's down. <laughs> see, it stayed on for a certain amount of time, then turned off. When I turn it back, when, when I turn it back the other direction, uh, this is, this simulates me stepping off of the pressure plate. Off. Okay, when it, I should just use a goddamn pressure plate. It's throwing me off just trying to explain it. Get out of there. Okay. Where's my pressure plate? Alright. So I step on the pressure plate, and it stays on for a limited amount of time. Now if I step off, nothing else happens. Alright, so it works that way every single time. And that's pretty. That's pretty much it. So what's happening here is the power goes into this, turns this uh, torch off. Uh, so and in turn, turns this torch uh, on automatically because the power goes here to here. This is what's turning off that torch. So that's turned off now, and now I've got power going into these repeaters. So the power here right now technically is off, and the power is coming through here, and then boop turns it back on now when I turn when I get step off of the pressure plate this turns on immediately so this line stays on this th doesn't do any like flickering crap and that's pretty much how it works guys uh, that's your basic monostable circuit um, if you guys want to make it like a really quick pull something shorter than a uh, uh, something shorter than a button press uh, then you can remove all these repeaters just put one repeater on four. Um, I think my favorite setting is one repeater at four and then one repeater at one. Uh, and that's, I don't know, for some reason I really like that setting. And that's pretty much it. That's that's your basic monostable. All right, uh, I am going to in basically just install this and then I'll be back. All right, guys, so it is installed right underneath here. And I now have my wiring running to each of my trigger sections. Uh, this wiring right here will trigger that off. And also, I have vertical wiring, and it's going to turn off the top ones. So, and my son just handed me an ear swab. I will be right back. All right, guys, sorry about that. I am back, and let's see. I've just set everything up. Let's see if it works. Oh, one side worked. Not sure. Oh, wait, why is it going again? Oh, because it's hitting the pressure plate. No, that's not good. Well, I guess I'm going to stand on here anyways the whole time until I collect them. So that's it's not a big deal. But why isn't the left side working? Oh, I forgot. I have this. Duh. All right. I I ignore the, the noise outside. Oh, my God. <laughs> Someone is playing music. Uh, if, <laughs> if you call it that. 
Oh my god. That is war that is so horrible. I hope that doesn't come in through the uh video. Um but as you guys can see, like it kinda landed on the side here. Nah. But anyways, it it stops it and it hits that pressure plate. And if I don't stand <laughs> I can't concentrate with that music. Um so, and then I can just come over here, grab it, and I'm done. And that's it. That, that's it, guys. I, I can't do the video any longer. Otherwise, uh, I'll go insane with that stuff going on outside. So, uh, if you guys look here, I actually found out what the problem was with the pumpkins. Uh, it turns out I didn't actually till the soil for the other ones. Only the one right there. So, that's why the, that was the only one working. So, uh, my pumpkin farm is working just fine. Uh, and my watermelon is working just fine. Oh my god, it's like every time I come over here, it's got, it's full. It's crazy. It's so awesome. Alright guys, that's, that's gonna be it for me today. Um, <laughs> I will see you guys next time, and as always, have fun. Later. Later.